An Emory Riddle student is being held without bond just hours after his arrest for an alleged shooting plot on campus. John Haggins faces several charges, including terrorism. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. Good evening. I'm Lisa Bell. Daytona Beach police say they were able to stop Haggins thanks to other students who came forward. The 19-year-old was arrested at his apartment complex this morning. That is just a few miles from the university's main campus. News 6's Treasure Roberts joins us from near Embry-Riddle tonight with the latest, Treasure. Well, the Daytona Beach police chief says this was a close call graciously thanking the students who reported their suspicions about the suspect in all this. He says they helped prevent what could have been the next deadly school massacre. He said once he was done at that firing range, he was going to campus to enact a Columbine. Daytona Beach Police Chief Jakari Young saying he feels a sense of relief after arresting 19 year old John Hagens, a student the chief says planned to carry out a violent attack at Embry Riddle Aeronautical University Thursday. By the grace of God, those two students came forward and throw it at that plane. Those students reported concerns to campus security after they say Hagen sent disturbing messages in a group chat alluding to a mass shooting. Police jumped into action surrounding Hagen's home at Andros Isles Apartments. When Hagen's came out, officers detained him. That's when they noticed this backpack. Contained inside the backpack was a collapsible rifle. Along with the rifle, several boxes of ammunition. He was taken into custody. Detectives say he admitted his plan during questioning. Students need mental and emotional health. They need support. Hagens was on academic probation, failing classes, and was recently cited for a traffic infraction on campus. Behavioral health expert Ashley Morris says students are not receiving adequate support to cope with everyday stressors. Students are really faced with an immense amount of pressure, social pressures, but also academic you know, pressures to do well and to perform. While strongly acknowledging violence is not the answer, she says the blame can't solely be laid on students. The problem that they're experiencing, it's not a you problem. It's a resource problem. Now, police say they believe Hagens just purchased the gun he planned to bring on campus, saying he sold his car to get it. He's now facing three felony charges, including attempted first degree homicide. His first court appearance is Friday afternoon. Live in Daytona Beach, Treasure Roberts getting results. News 6. Treasure, thank you.